Right, I uh, just had to race home because my neighbours cracked it because I managed to not realise that it, my new joint, the bin only goes out every second week, as in the main garbage bin, and I've put some fish scraps in there on the Sunday night. It's Tuesday now and they've cooked and they stink and they've been smelling out their house, so I had to run home, pour a whole bunch of bleach in the bin, move the bin, but now the boat's on the back, and uh, I'm just going to go for a quick scout for about two hours uh, this afternoon. It's a beautiful day, but a bit of wind, but it's this nice southwest wind, so hopefully that uh, that puts the fish on the bite. And um, yeah, we'll go from there, see what happens. While I'm, uh, while I'm baiting up, I thought I'd just tell you about what just happened to the ram. And it's probably going to happen few more times this year given it's snapper season now it was actually i couldn't believe it, it was a double whammy so the first bloke he's backed his boat down and he was solo and i'm you know i've actually seen this boat a few times and i'm assuming that you know he considers himself a very a very um you know um structured angler like he knows what he's doing he's probably launched that boat thousands of times but he did the cardinal sin of He'd undone his safety chain because I guarantee he was going to jump in the boat and he just knew that he could just quickly put, a, put the boat in gear, take the latch off and he'd be good to go, you know. So he was taking, uh, being quick over being safe and what's going to happen is eventually that rope is going to snap. It happens on every boat. I've had it snap on my boat. Luckily I was strapped to the trailer when it happened but he managed to drop his little 445 on the glass halfway in the water, halfway on the ramp. So he's gonna have a serious fill for the fiberglass man. And then I actually went down and helped him. That's the other thing I was gonna say is, a bit of good karma hopefully, like this stuff happens to people all the time and you never know what's gonna to happen to you. I'll probably need help one day, I'll probably do something similar or I'll forget something and you know, I'll need help. So don't just laugh at him. Just make sure you go over and actually help because this old battle was quite stressed. And then, believe it or not, as soon as that happened, I've just helped him. And I noticed that the next old fella who's going out with his mate and he's just put his boat in, his little polycraft, he uh, he starts taking on a hell of a lot of water. And I go, mate, what's going on? You got your bungs out, you got your bungs out? And he goes, he goes, no, no, mate, there's a hole in it. Must be a hole in it, must be a hole in it. Definitely put the bungs in, definitely put the bungs in. And I didn't care, I was just offering help. And so I had to jump in the water and actually grab the front of his boat and effectively beach him on the ramp while his mate came back and and uh, put the trailer back in and got him on and luckily we got him back on the trailer and you know not too much damage or anything but turns out his bungs were out so just take your time this time of year no rush i didn't care you know i think his ego was a little bit hurt that he had forgotten the bungs but who cares you make mistakes and um yeah just just move on and if you see it happen to someone go help them because yeah, the day it happens to you, you'll be wishing that you helped. All right, now, on to fishing. Let's get some baits out. It's blowing a bit tonight. You can probably hear. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me saying what I just said. But anyway, I'm going to get four squid baits out. And uh, we're going to have a crack at these snapper. We've got a, a high tide and a, and a sunset at the same time at about quarter past eight tonight. So fingers crossed we can find some fish. Nothing special for bait. This is just color that I caught like a couple of weeks ago. And um, one thing I just wanted to show you is that I see a lot of people use baits that are like that thick. Personally, I don't get it. I just use baits that are this thick. They're, you know, that's as thick as my finger, my pointer finger. And I just reckon you get, you know, you got more hook exposure because you've got less bait on the hook. So there's more percentage of hook in the bait. I just reckon I get better hookups when I run small baits like that. And they're not necessarily small, they're just thin, you know, they're still long. You know, that's probably a bit of, you know, it's still sort of that long, that's a decent size, probably a 30 hood or something. But yeah, my, my advice would be to go a smidge thinner on your squid rings. Uh, because elephants eat peanuts. Up. 
pas. Oh. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Didn't take too long. In about here about 20 minutes. It's just about to check the baits. See I go no bloody net again. Oh, right. Looks like a decent fish. Back that drag off a smidge. Yeah, it's a good fish. Good fish. I haven't seen it yet, I haven't actually got colour. Doesn't want to see the boat. Jeez, really doesn't want to see the boat. It's alright, just take my time. No rush. This might be a good fish. I have backed the drag off a bit, so that's why it's pulling a bit more string, but geez, that's a there's some good runs. Oh yeah, that's a proper one. Yeah, that's a proper one. Yeah, that's a good one. Whew. She'd be six or something. That's mint. I'm glad that fit in the net because as you can see, that's just broke. <laughs> oh, sick. I will give this one a measure and I'm gonna release this fish, but that's sick. Happy as with that. Oh yeah, that's a proper one. 85 and a half. <laughs> that's sick. Oh, this is why it's mint living so close to the water. I never would have come out tonight, but since moving house, it's sick. I'm only gonna fish for two hours tonight and to be able to put a fish like that in the boat, Makes it all worth it. Then I can go home in an hour or something and I'll be stoked. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna release this one. So I, uh, it's not actually something I do a lot and it's something I should do more, but I um, yeah, I wanna put this one back even though it's, pro it's my best fish for a fair while. Honestly, I actually honestly reckon that that is my best fish in Western Port. I wish I had scales, but that's all right. It'll be, uh, it'll be better watching it swim off. All right, bear with me. Hopefully I can, uh, hopefully I can release this fish all right. Just uh, with, the, uh, with the lip grips and one hand. Swing him over. Oh. That's sick. I'm actually just gonna record this on my phone as well when I let it go, but I'm very, very happy with that one. Wicked guys. She'll swim off to Zev another day. I'm just gonna <laughs> get some from the other stations. No good. Uh, it's eight o'clock now. I'm just gonna go home to Monday night. I got work in the morning, but yeah, rad. One fish, good fish. Hopefully I can just keep ticking them off like this come during the year because I'm gonna get a lot more opportunity to go out. But cheers for watching guys. Uh, hopefully I can keep getting episodes out as quickly as I am. and. Um, yeah, and hopefully the content can, can keep being alright and you, if you don't enjoy it, don't watch it. And if you do enjoy it, tell me. Let me know.